<laughs> What's next? Uh, let's shift, shift gears to the women. Yep. Uh, they have a World Cup later this year in Australia and New Zealand. Uh, they began 2023 with a pair of friendly victories over New Zealand. And you said then that those weren't real tests for the U.S. women. You wanted to see them play against stiffer competition. You'll get that in the coming days because the 2023 She Believes Cup is upon us. Uh, the U.S. will face Canada, Japan, and Brazil in that order. Yep. Canada Thursday, Thursday, uh, Sunday, and Wednesday. Canada in Orlando, and then Sunday, Japan in Nashville. That's a rematch of the 2011 and 2015 World Cup Finals. And then the following Wednesday, Brazil in Frisco, Texas. We know the threat at this upcoming Women's World Cup is likely going to come from Europe, France, England, Germany, Sweden, etc. Nevertheless, Canada, Japan, and Brazil is a step up in class from New Zealand. So interesting to see how the U.S. women look in these games. And while the U.S., if they're playing them, I'm still going with the U.S., and I think that's that's a fair assessment, and that's safe money. At least they are competitive games. And I also think that because of the amount of times that they've played, because of the history that they have, it, it has bred competition and, and at times bred good kind of animosity in that all three of these teams believe that on a day, and they have to have a day when things go well, they can find a way to compete and possibly beat the, the U.S. So this is this is a wonderful tournament for Vlatko Andomnowski to really ultimately assess here what he is going to uh, going to go with. When it comes to the roster, we mentioned it before, a lot of the usual suspects, including a listener uh, in goal, and I don't think that's going to change through the summer. Becky Sabrin is the uh, you know the the uh, the most experienced player. The return of uh, Crystal Dunn. Uh, which is wonderful. Also, the return of uh, of Megan Rapino. Now, when it comes to Becky Salbrun and that type of back, I mean, there's a lot of other players, and we've talked about uh, Naomi uh, Gurma and, and these types of players that are coming on strong. So I don't know ultimately what Vodko is going to do, and so this is going to be a real good test for uh, for this uh, for this team. Alex Morgan is uh, is back. Trinity Rodman. Um, there are still players that uh, that that we p- could possibly see this summer that aren't going to be here, but this is as as good as it's going to get at this moment. Rose Lavelle continues on, uh, Lindsey Horan, and these types of players that we know and that we love that are still, while they're some of them legends, they're still fighting for that starting spot, and that's a good type of competition that we have. You like that clip? Well, my State of the Union podcast drops every week. Subscribe now on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. You like that clip? Well, my State of the Union podcast drops twice a week right here on my very own YouTube page. The only way to stay up to date is to hit that subscribe button down below. Size the day and see you soon.